At the end of this presentation, you will be able to define the elements of the logical structure of Active Directory Directory Service and discuss the purposes of those elements. Active Directory provides secure storage of information about objects in its hierarchical logical structure. The logical structure consists of objects, organizational units, domains, domain trees, and forests. Objects are the most basic components of the logical structure. They represent users and resources, such as computers and printers. Object classes are blueprints or templates for the types of objects that you can create in Active Directory. Each object in Active Directory is uniquely defined by the combination of its attribute values. Attributes define the possible values that you can associate with an object. Each object, for example, an object that represents a specific user, is based on an object class. To create a user object, you must have a user object class to use as a template. Object classes and attributes are collectively known as the Active Directory Schema. An object is uniquely defined by the values that are assigned to the attributes that the object class contains. Because Active Directory stores information about objects as attribute values, users and applications can easily find the objects that are associated with specific attribute values. For example, a user can search for the printer that is closest to her desk by searching for a printer that has a building value and location value that match her floor in her building. Organizational units, or OUs, are container objects that you use to arrange other objects to support your administrative purposes. For example, you can arrange user objects in OUs based on the business unit, geographical location, or a single object class. This way you make it easier to locate and manage objects. You can also delegate the authority to administer an OU. You can nest OUs in other OUs to further simplify the administration of objects. For example, your organization has six financial departments, each with its own OU. To simplify administration, you can nest all six OUs in one finance OU. You can then create one parent OU and apply security and administrative rules to it. These rules will apply to all of the nested OUs. OUs organize objects within a single domain. Domains are the core functional units in the Active Directory logical structure. Domains serve three functions. They act as an administrative boundary for objects, they help manage security for shared resources, and they serve as a unit of replication for objects. A domain is a collection of administratively defined objects that share a common directory database, security policies, and trust relationships with other domains. It is common to place objects in the same domain if you want them to share a common security policy or be managed by the same systems administrator. You can use domains to manage security for shared resources. Security policies are created at the domain level and provide consistent security for the resources in that domain. The objects in each domain are stored on the domain partition of the Active Directory database. Computers that are called domain controllers store copies or replicas of the domain partition. These replicas automatically update each other when any changes are made so that the information on each replica of the domain partition is consistent. Domains can be arranged together in hierarchical structures that are called domain trees. When a second domain is added to a tree, it becomes a child of the tree root domain. The domain that a child domain is attached to is called the parent domain. A child domain may, in turn, have its own child domain. The name of a child domain is combined with the name of its parent domain to form its own unique DNS or domain name system name. In this manner, a tree has a contiguous namespace. For example, an organization named Northwind Traders establishes a domain tree and names the first domain nwtraders.msft. The systems administrator then decides to create child domains for the research department and the sales department because they have significantly different policy needs. 
these child domains take the name of the parent domain and become research.nwtraders.msft and sales.nwtraders.msft, respectively. Most organizations are well served by a single tree in which each domain is a child of a single root domain. Forests are made up of one or more trees. The first domain in the forest is called the forest root domain. The name of that domain is used to refer to the forest. In this example, the forest is nwtraders.msft. A forest contains an entire instance of Active Directory. By default, information is exchanged only within a forest. In this way, the forest is a security boundary for all of the information in Active Directory. At the end of this presentation, you will be able to define the elements of the physical structure of the Active Directory directory service and the purpose of those elements. Discuss how the logical and physical structures of Active Directory work together to meet organizational needs. In Active Directory, the physical structure is separate and distinct from the logical structure. The logical structure enables you to organize and manage users, groups, and network resources. The physical structure enables you to optimize network traffic. The physical structure of Active Directory defines when and where replication and logon traffic occur. The elements of the physical structure are domain controllers and sites. Domain controllers are computers that run Active Directory and Microsoft Windows Server 2003 or Windows 2000 Server. Each domain controller performs storage and replication functions. The logical element of a domain is a unit of replication. The physical domain controller contains the information that will be replicated. A domain controller can support only one domain. To ensure continuous availability of Active Directory, each domain must have more than one domain controller. Each domain controller contains several Active Directory partitions. The domain partition contains replicas of all of the objects in that domain. The domain partition is replicated only to other domain controllers in the same domain. The configuration partition contains forest topology. Topology is a record of all domain controllers and the connections between them in a forest. The schema partition contains the forest-wide schema. Each forest has one schema so that the definition of each object class is consistent. The configuration and schema partitions are replicated to each domain controller in the forest. Optional application partitions contain objects that are unrelated to security and that are used by one or more applications. Application partitions are replicated to specified domain controllers in the forest. A site is a group of well-connected computers. After sites are established, domain controllers within a site communicate frequently. This communication minimizes the latency within the site. Latency is the time that is required for a change that is made on one domain controller to be replicated on other domain controllers. You create sites to optimize the use of bandwidth between physically separated domain controllers. You can configure domain controllers in separate sites, which may be linked by slower communications to communicate only at scheduled times. You typically schedule this replication traffic when it has minimal impact on other network traffic. An organization must plan both the logical structure and physical structure to meet its needs. For example, if your organization needs only one domain but has offices around the world, you may decide to create multiple sites to keep the replication and logon traffic within the site. In this case, you can configure replication between sites to occur during the hours when other network traffic is lightest. If all employees in your organization work at one location, but in departments that have different security and policy needs, you may decide to create several domains in one site. Or if your organization has multiple locations with more than one domain represented at each location, 
You may decide to create multiple sites that have at least one domain controller from each necessary domain at each site.